Welcome back my comrades, I am Victor Barisov and today we're continuing the Fallout 76 secondary locations playthrough and in this series we will be covering all the secondary locations in Appalachia and today's video is called um, Fallout 76 The Forest Zone C Secondary Locations Part 2 if you're wondering and like normal uh, timestamps down below to each location and a link to the map image and let me just bring up my map on the PC. Right, first location today we are getting into is number 76, Military Comms Tower. Uh, a small quest related comms dish sitting on an electrical pylon platform with a cooking station and a mounted machine gun golf cart. Sounds like an interesting prospect. Let's go and see. Uh, so apparently it's somewhere over here on the rocky cliffs, somewhere like around here. So yeah, we'll just stick to this line and see what we can find. There it is by the looks of it. If I is there, I'll be amazed. Yes it is. So there's the location there. So we're going for a golf cart with a mounted machine gun or something. There's a dead person there as well. So this is the location here, and the annoying bots spawned in as well. So yes, this is the nice little location of 76, and let's explore it. So we've got this dead person here, just called a corpse. Interesting. Boiled water. Pocket watch, explosives crate, and this is the tower here. I believe there is a shooting range down there. I'll check that out in a minute to make sure, because I think I've been here. Once before there was a shooting range at one time. So we'll check that out in a minute. Two fragments. What's up? Where's this golf car with a machine gun mounted on it? That's a pipe pistol. One probably don't mean this. This isn't really a golf cart. Uh, but we'll take all the ammunition barbed wire. Oh, well, there's the golf cart. But no machine gun mounted on it. Strange. Oh well. This there's a golf cart here. Oh no, here's a golf cart. Ah right, I think this is where the machine gun would be mounted, but it might have been already looted. Or might not just spawned in. That's quite interesting. This might be one of my thumbnails from one of the videos. Might be. Depends what else we find. Let me just zoom back in. Well, let's have a look down here and see. Because I know one of these locations had a shooting range. But if not, well, I'll just run back up there anyway. Uh, no, no, it does not add to this area. I think it's in the forest region. Oh, there is some scorch there, though. And I completely miss its head. I still miss. Come on, scorched. There we go. Yeah, I think it's the mountain top range where I have a golf uh, shooting range. Oh, I've attracted his friends. Oh, Ooh, you missed me. Chain of face maneuvers. I know the bush doesn't help apparently. But okay. Right, our next location. 77, Bolton Greens Lookout. A lookout tower on a hill south of Bolton Greens. Apparently it's all the way up here. Let me just check. Yep, it's apparently up here somewhere. Uh about so it's somewhere around here. Maybe this is the lookout tower possibly. Yeah, maybe this is it. What does it say? It doesn't really say anything. Tower on a hill. Well, that's technically the hill there. Well, I'm just going to check out this location first. So this might be the lookout tower because it's got a defensive post. So I'm possibly saying this is the location because looking on my map. It says it's here. But So I might possibly lift this. This one is 77. But I'm not sure yet. So I'm just going to go up on this hill. And check, because every time I've seen a lookout tower, they're much, much taller than that. So let's go up here. Apparently I'm stuck on a small rock. Let's just go up here and check to make sure. Apparently my car is just getting stuck on everything. No, there's no towers there. There's no towers there. So yes, that must be the lookout tower, guys. Strange. I thought it would be much taller than that. But yeah, there is no other tower. In this area, what I could see of. 
So yes, that one down there was the lockout tower. So I can't confirm that because I can't see any other towers. But it's a bit weird having a little lockout tower there. Well, I guess you do have different lockouts at different positions. So yes, that one down there is the lockout tower. So right. Our next location we are going to is 78. The Ragstag Hunter's Pylon Camera. A platform and hanging meat from one of the large electrical pylons. And that is 78. And that's all the way over here somewhere. So that's a small lookout tower, I guess. Well, I guess the could call it a lookout encampment, I guess. I believe that might be the tower there. Let's just check on the map. Uh, actually, it might be this one, actually. Let's check, see which way I'm facing. Yeah, might be this one or might be that one. It's one of these two. So, just checking something. Right, so. Hmm. Let's go. Uh, is it this one? I don't see any meat. I don't see any platform. So it might be the other tower then. Oh no, there is. Just rendering in very slowly. Okay, so this is the tower here. It looks very hideously gross. And you can't build here either. Shame. Would have been a nice little encampment for you. But I guess you can get free ragstag meat in the rest from here if it hasn't rotted already. But we're going up here. To where there's a salmon head. How nice. Melon, a teddy bear, smokes, and a little gas station. So yes, if you look for this, it's right here in the woods near, right near my cam actually. So yeah, my cam's just up there on there. Actually, can you actually see my cam from here? Yes, you can. I think is that my cam? I'm not sure if that's my cam or not. Let me just get my lever action. What's going on? Scope. I did not mean to fire that. No, that's a raid, I think. I thought it was mine. It's a raid encampment. But oh well. Right, next one after this is 79. Uh, something preservation shall a transport route 91. A truck bringing a quantity of tube shell as has stopped and has fallen branches. I'm sacked all four of these has duffel bags. Okay. I think I found this one before actually. I was in one of my videos. Isn't this one by the creepy... Yeah, this one's going to be by the uh, creepy cult location. There was a caravan somewhere around here. What? I don't think it is listed in this, is it? No, it isn't. Damn. I don't know where about the creepy caravan is. It's... Ah, there's the creepy caravan. Right. I will show you this. This is not listed in the guide, guys. But it should be 100% listed in the guide. This one I know about because I found it. Oh, I'll show you this creepy location. I might really use this as my thumbnail for today's video. But as you can see here, guys, you've got this bloody gnome with a knife threatening you. And you have to, like, pray or worship this thing. It's amazing. If you're looking for this one, it's right there. Not listed in the guide, but it should be because that's one hell of a scary, nice location. I can see that, guys. I'm just checking something quickly. So yeah, don't know why not, but I guess you can't list everything in the guide, I guess, because it'll take up hundreds of pages, I guess. But still, ooh, dead cultists. Cultists reply. Let's have a read. Bro, Octron, I accept your invite. I wish to pray to the holy Mothman under the light of the moon. However, my father says he must come as well. He thinks I'm too young to go alone. I wish he would just let me live my life. I'm not a child. Says him. And why these must be his father. Call the same vice, it's the same. Oh no, let's go to a secret place on the uh, worship at midnight and pray to the Holy Moth, I believe. With this show of demonstration and your great beauty, he will be moved to bless us with a vision. The Maria that fills my soul with joy, will you join me? Okay, creepy. Wait, right, this is the location we came here for. Number. 79 these shelters so it's right here under the number of the 79 ironically it's right here and I did say one of these has duffel bags and one of them has medicine so oh no 
to drop that again. Oh yeah, this one's got three different bags. So instead of smuggling money, possibly in these things. Oh, that one just has a screwdriver. And that one's empty. Alright. Size that location. Our next one we are going to, number 80, is the Yalguai Cave alcove. A shallow rock alcove with a cliff where mutant bears like to prowl. So it's mutant bears where I shoot them, I can say that. I've got my big hunting rifle, I've got my smaller hunting rifle. Bring it, that's all I'm saying. Apparently it's up here somewhere. Today we're going to hunt bears and bring back some nice meat, hopefully. Maybe not bears, but there is a super mutant. Okay, stop the map. Strange. Bye bye. Okay, they just fell through the map somehow. I don't even know. Okay, this is the shoot. Whoa. Are you back? Oh, you're back as well. Welcome back, you. Yeah. Oh god, I might end up dying. Stimpax. I'd be on the target board. Stimpax. I think I got a large, large dose of radiation from some I can't even where. Here, them submachine guns. Stay dead. Right, where's my radway? Pump a load of radway into my stomach. Probably from drinking bottled water, probably. Whew. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, this is the shooting range I was thinking of, guys. As you can see, there's a dead dude here with a punk on his head. I'm not actually sure what people are doing here, but... Yeah, it's a great location. Actually, I might try and use this one right now. It is my thumbnail. Let's go back down to here. Let's go vintage and see what we can do with this, shall we? Oh, that's pretty darn weird. Uh, that one's not too good. Uh, a bit too dark. Dandy might look alright. Day Tripper. Enhanced. Feral. Gamma. Jet. Red Rocket. Saturated Spa. Sugar Bombs Typewriter. Bob Blues. Vintage. Warm. None. I would say let's just try and do Dandy. Because it makes everything look a bit darker, doesn't it? Uh, oh. Yeah. Something like that, I would say. So that's going to probably today's thumbnail instead of the other one. But this is another nice secondary location. So yeah, guys, if you're looking for this one, what isn't even listed in the book either, it is right here on these little clips here. So yeah, if you're looking for that one, it's right there. And also, we're looking for this Yagwai cave. Oh, and there's evil gnomes here, so that probably explains it. So this cave is supposed to be somewhere around here, according to the book. So let's start looking for... Oh, it might be here. I might have gone too far up the hill. Is it? Yoo-hoo. Oh, yes it is. It's dead. Just made sure. So, right. This bear is definitely dead. I can safely say that. Got a ton of dead skeletons. Wait, did I go too far up? I might have gone too far. Maybe that one is actually a location in the north one, so I will not use that video actually. So look at where that one is. On my map it says it's out of bounds for this one, so I may not use that one. I might just go back and get the other one. Because I don't want to risk it. I'll have to check with my other guide to see what it says. Like in the other zones. Because if it is in the other zone, I will um not use it and use that one when it comes to the other zones. Yes, this is number 80, right here, the Yaogai one. And number 81 is Beehive on the New River George Bridge East. Right, are we going? We're going all the way over here? Really? Okay, my guide is telling me to go all the way over here. Okay, guys. We got a long track to go. That gives me time to go to my other map. And check this location out. I'm just skipping through the atlas trying to find my locations. Trying to figure out where it would be. Right, hold on. Oh, sorry, but I'll just hit the microphone there. Sorry, Mike. Right, let's have a look. Just checking. Where, where was that location close at? Alright, oh, it's close to here, so yeah, let's have a look. 
somehow unlock. Uh, no, it's not in the guard, guys. Just have a look at the future locations. I can't see anything with that description. Oh, well, I guess it's safe to say I can use that one. That's good. Right now, to scroll all the way back to where I originally was. Am I being hunted? Oh, by them in the tower. Let's leave them then. Back down to this place. Here we go. I'm back at the right page for my guide. Right, so it's somewhere over there we need to go. Still can't believe we've got to run all the way over this way, guys. Quite a long walk. Gotta say that. Slowly making it down the cliffs. There's Halvisha. So we're getting close. Ah, uh, close-ish, but still a long way to go. Should have just teleported there, possibly. But I don't like to cheat. I like to make my own way across locations, I can say that. Right, let's just have a look at something. Uh, my audio appears to be fine. Should be. We'll soon find out while I listen back to it. You recall that ammunition? I'll take that. That's where all the thingies are on the scorched. I like to live in this village. Drop your gun! He didn't drop his gun. I hear a crazy locus one come out and shoot me. Bring it, I'm armed with a rifle. Well, two rifles. I don't see any more crazy locals. Jump onto the rocks. Yeah, looks like we're perfectly safe now. Looks like Wilden just brung his gun out and tried to shoot me at the doorstep. Very violent people. Nowhere near his property and he just brings out a gun and tries to shoot me. Well, that's self-defense. I self-defended myself. But all right, too. Right, so we're getting there. So, just look around the map. We should be able to go to eight one eight two if we if if I yes that's gonna work on nicely actually guys. I can say that. So the next floor is all clustered together down here. Just spaced out a bit. I can see the road leading to the bridge, so that's good. Here's the next town. Well, one of the few towns we can run into. I think this town is also filled by hostile enemies. And there's the train station. I uh, could sell a ton of good stuff to get to the caps, but I'm not going to do that right now. Nearly there eventually, so we've literally covered a lot of ground. Let's try and get rid of the rest of this radiation, shall we? There we go. Just a tiny step out of rads. Just what we need. Right, so we're at the resort park, so that means we are definitely very close to that location. So that's good. Bees hive should be around here somewhere apparently. So we should be under this this bridge corn to this guide. So it says under New Road, Georgia Bridge East, go up on you and try not to get stung. Bee hive stuck on the tree below the bridge. 
on a tree below the bridge. Got you. So we're just looking for a tree where we have on. Uh, there is a lot of trees here. So this is going to be made very interesting. What have I been seen by? Oh, just a random ghoulie. Oh, and this ghoul comes down from somewhere else. Cool. Right, so yeah, it should be somewhere around here called my guide. I don't see any bees flying around, so this is the interesting thing. I've never known a beehive to be around here either. Any bees? Nope, just a liberator. Bee swarm, there we go. There it is. Ow! Thanks bees. It's somewhere around here. Cause these bees were swarming around here. There it is. Right. Going for honey. These two beehives are right here on the map. This location. So yes, if you want this one, it's just right here under near the. 86 sign. Right. Number 82. Broken boat and river debris. A small bend being grows where the river left its boat and vehicle wreckage debris deposits in the George Basin of the bridge. Okay, probably we're going all the way down to the river now. Oh, there's someone's camp here as well. Oh, he got stung to death. How nasty of a way to die. Ouch. Right. Farm hand, these crazy things. Loads to pieces. So I think this is the location they're talking about here. Because it's just broken boats and river debris. So this is a broken boat, alright. That's well, definitely debris. Oh, I. Oh, and there's ghoulies here. A military one. And just a, two half naked ones. Oh, and a, police, and a scout one. Let's just run off somewhere. Okay. He's now dead. Cotton yarn. And some ammo. So let's have a look at this wreckage then. So we got our first aid kit, what's empty? Uh, a few broken vehicles and different bits and bobs just dot around the river. Quite interesting to say the least. But yes. I was going to say, so this location is right here, uh, according to my message here. Yes, it's right here, guys. And this is number A2, Broken Boat and River Debris. So it's that one. And number 83 is Rotten Tent, a copper deposit and a rotten camp next to the road. So we're going back up here next. So we're for a rotten tent and a copper deposit. There's the rotten tent. Oh, I don't see the copper deposit. Oh, there's the copper deposit. Is it? No. Oh, I don't know where the copper deposit is, but there is supposed to be one right here, guys. Near this tent. Ah, oh, there it is. Is it? No, or is that just rubble? That just looks to be rubble from the bridge up above. Yeah, I'm not sure where the copper deposit is, guys, but... According to my book, there is supposed to be a copper deposit here near this rotten tent. I've just lost the rotten tent there. But, yeah, I'm not sure on that one. Let's just read it again. Yeah. Okay, then. But yes, this is the rotten tent location right here, guys. That is number 83. Number 84 is... A... Sp Soapy scan a skeleton wobbling in a bathtub full of soap under an electrical pylon. This will keep you in oil in oil for a bit. Okay, let's go and check out that one. Ah, oh, that's the copper deposit. Just up from it. See so yeah, how there is a copper deposit here. So that'll come in handy for you. 
and the electrical pylon is right there, so I'm assuming it's this one. Let's have a look. Oh yes, it is in the bathtub full of, spot of soap. So right guys, if you're looking for this one, it is right here. Just near the train track lines and near camera click trough, how you say it. So this is the skeleton with everything, with all the soap. And I'm just going to get a picture of this one because I might use this one actually. So many good photos, not enough time to pick. Probably going to spend a bit trying to pick out which one I want to use now. Huh. This one looks quite good actually. May look quite light-ish. Bring down the contrast a little. There we go. Yeah, it might be a good one to use. Uh, which way would you say? That way, I would say. So yes, that might be a good picture to use. But right, moving on to our last one is all the way back down here, apparently. Number 85. S something boat and a bathtub. A white boat, broken half, sits where a river used to be, close to a duffel bag in a bathtub. So now a copper deposit here. Could have a big copper mine going. So probably may go down here. Oh, there's a hole to use. Damn. Okay, change weapons. We need my thingy weapon out. Oh god, we are now getting shot as well with a laser. Some more laser. An eye bot? What are you doing here? Go away. We'll take the wonder glue. Fuse, that's always good. Are you guys just been tracking me for some reason? Dead now. This fair bed I've never seen be here here before. Uh, isn't this still on my guide? So maybe this is just a random spawn event? Possibly. I'm not sure. It's just a strange place of verbed to crash, I could say that. Because normally the verbeds are listed on my guide. So there's a verbed apparently here, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it's a crashed verbot, so yeah, this is a random spawn. I was gonna say I didn't think one spawned here. Yeah, so this is just a random crashed verbot. Cool. I was gonna say that's a weird location. And here's the white boat broken in half. And there should be a bathtub with duffel bags. Stay back. Ow. I'm kind of being attacked a lot today for no reason. <laughs> Am I in your... Dude, calm down. Calm down. There you go. I put you down because you were being a miserable person. Oh, and here's the bathtub with a skeleton holding onto his duffel bag of free war money. Of course, I think in that drain pipe. Yes, there is. Let's loot this drain pipe quickly. So that's free war money. Stuff like that. Oh, what did I just hit? I do not know. Wait, anyway, let's go back to this location. You jumped a bit too early. Oh, well, he's now dead. Right, so if you're looking for this location with a broken boat, the duffel bag dude, and a nice little wooden box full of cu cutting fluids, it's right here, guys, on this map. Just up by this river bend. Just not too far from this train station and these pylon icons. And that's number 85. So we'll leave this video here today, guys. And we'll continue in the next video in the last zone, last part of this zone. Then we'll move off into zone D. But if you liked this video, guys, give it that thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it that thumbs down. If you have any questions at all about this video or any other videos, guys, put them in the comments below and I will try and answer them to the best of my ability I can, guys. But until next time, I am Victor Barisov, signing off. Until next time, guys. Bye.